to check out a one-of-a-kind toilet paper holder? Well, my name is Maria Lindbergh. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. I am an occupational therapist, woo! And I am also the owner of Stay at Home Solutions and Hard Time Wiping. Oh, welcome Clarice. Welcome everybody. I missed you guys last week. Uh, I had fun celebrating the Thanksgiving holiday here in the US, and I hope that uh, you all did too. You got yourself stuffed and maybe a big old hug. But so today um, I am showing you, I am actually, this is kind of the first time where I'm filming um, on my more completed set for Toilet Talk. It's not finished, but we're getting there. So I wanted to show you this removable toilet paper holder from Ponte Giulio. And I really love this uh, removable toilet paper holder because it's so unique in that it can go on any size grab bar, any size grab bar. Typically grab bars are any brand too, any brand, any size grab bar. So in the US, most grab, bar, grab bars are one and a quarter inches round in circumference. So this grab bar is actually, uh, let me move the camera a little bit. It's a 90 degree grab bar by Ponte Giulio as well. And you can see it goes down to the floor. Please don't mind my sitting position as I sit here with my legs wide. Woo, we're getting wild today. Anyway, um, so the circumference is uh, one and a quarter inch round. Um, so this will go, this went on very easily on the Ponte Giulio course. It's all Ponte Giulio here. But they also send you these little um, things when you're installing it and they have different widths. So this one is 1.5 millimeters wide. This one is two millimeters wide in case you have a bigger or a smaller circumference in your grab bar. So that'll make sure the fit goes on really well. So what I did was I just put it on and they gave this little Allen wrench. I um, turned the key and that was it. Then I got me a, a sweet toilet paper holder that I could put anywhere. I love toilet paper holders that you can put anywhere because things change in your life, okay? So for instance, I have a two-year-old daughter who loves taking the toilet paper and completely unrolling it everywhere. So in this case, uh, if I were, if this was my true bathroom setup, I could move this back farther away, like closer to the wall, so that when she is sitting on her uh, potty, on her little potty seat on the potty, she can't reach the toilet paper so that she'll spin, spin, spin. Another thing that I like, I put it here because this is probably a common spot that most people would put it next to the toilet, but I put it here because um, it's easy. I faced it this direction where the open end is closer to the wall, so it's nice for that one-handed use. You know, maybe you're holding onto pants or something else with the other hand. You need to throw on a fresh roll. You're sitting there, boom, it's on the roll. This part is flexible, so if you have like a thicker roll of toilet paper, it squeezes up and holds it into place. But this is kind of a thinner roll, so it's going on very easy for me. And then you can spin it. Um, but I also put it up here because if you are sitting like this, it's pretty easy for most people to reach it this direction. Some people, you know, later on in life, or maybe something happens to you, maybe you're sick, maybe your back is injured or something like that. Some people can tend to kind of lean back on the toilet and rest against it. Nothing wrong with that, but it just may mean that it's not as easy for them to get hold of the toilet paper. Well, then you can move the toilet paper back so that it could be in an easier to reach spot. Usually people, um, we want to put everything in easy to reach spots because it, can be pretty easy to fall off the toilet and lose your balance. So you wanna make sure everything is within reach so you're not having to lean too far forward or too far to the side to get what you need. So I really like this. I had done, if you're familiar with my uh, Naughty Potty series, 
that's where I go into restaurants and, and different like public places and I judge their grab bar placement, give tips on how to make it better. There are a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over cold. There are many restrooms that they do have grab bars in their restrooms, but they don't have any toilet paper holders. So I'll often see toilet paper, paper just propped up on the grab bar and um, propped against the wall. So it's just sitting there, which isn't great because it can easily fall. You know, it's not holding on to anything. I had to drop it for dramatic effect. So, so it falls off and, or they'll put the toilet paper on the floor, which is so disgusting. I'll see toilet paper on the back of the toilet tank, like that plant that's sitting there. And that can be very difficult to reach too. For some people so if those places at home or in public if you have a removable toilet paper holder where you can put in any spot that would be really convenient for a lot of people to easily get hold of the toilet paper and um, to uh, yeah just not not have gross toilet paper from the floor and wiping their butt so <laughs> that's really disgusting this thing is I'm um, thinking of the dimensions here. This thing's probably like a good five to six inches long and then probably like three to four inches um, from the grab bar. So as you can see, it's moving around in place. Um, so you can put it at any angle. Maybe you want it a little closer to you or farther away. So you can do a lot of great things with it that way. So I love removable toilet paper holders. Um, I do believe that it only, Ponte Julio only sells it in this color, in this white color, but that can go along with a lot of different fixtures and a lot of aesthetics in your bathroom at home or out in public. So let me know what you think about it. Would you put a removable toilet paper holder in your house? Um, what, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below or message me. Um, let me see. What else did I want to include? I think that was it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I will be forming or be creating a video for this on my YouTube channel on Toilet Talk where I show you how to put it on, how to take it off, how to adjust it. So if you go ahead, go to my link in the bio uh, at Hard Time Wiping, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and then get a notification on when that video will come out. So please stay tuned. I'm going to wrap it up. I wish you so much, like, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please do follow me at hardtimewiping.com. I'm doing a holiday giveaway. I am giving a free Elegance Genie Bidet seat from Genie Bidet. Uh, so you can play every day to win that if you use the link in the bio every day through December 15th. And we will announce the winner on December 16th. Please check out my other toilet talk videos here on IGTV. I will be back next week and I will see you, yeah, next week at 12 Central Standard Time. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next week. Bye.